You remember Sam Pepper a few years ago when the outrage he caused all over the internet. Let's see how he reacts to his best friend of five years being killed in front of right? him. Mm, <laughs> not, not the best friend dying prank. That was, honestly, that was amateur hour. Barely any special effects, no fake blood. I was, honestly, I was disappointed. No, everything I but th that's not what this video is about. Right now, we are referring to the butt-touching social experiment that he did a few years ago. If you're not familiar, here's a clip. Hello guys, I'm Sam Pepper. Today I'm going to be pinching gals bums with my secret hair. <laughs> you head down this way. Yeah, like down there. Yeah. And then... But do you remember the outrage that surrounded that whole thing? All the videos condemning his actions. His most recent fake hand ass pinch garnered the most negative attention because he was grabbing women's bottoms without their permission. Most of the girls in the clips that we actually see, who knows what's going on in the ones that were cut out, you can tell they're really uncomfortable. They go through with it and kind of try to shrug it off. Being a female myself, I can see that many of the women in these videos are uncomfortable and even distressed. And he doesn't even care. He just forces himself on them and then he laughs in their face. What sort of message is this sending our youth? YouTube took it down and when you click on the link to the video, it says this message, which I will show right now. Good job, YouTube. At least you're better than the NFL about taking action when people are idiots. The countless articles that came out of it. Male entitlement has no place in feminism. Male entitlement definitely exists, and problematically so. Outside of feminism for evidence, just see YouTube celebrity Sam Pepper's latest video, Fake Hand Ass Pinch Prank, in which he talks to unsuspecting women on the street and grabs their butts when they're distracted. That he thought he could encroach on something so personal as a woman's body and in such a public sphere is an unforgivable paragon of male entitlement. How young women joined forces against misogynistic YouTuber Sam Pepper. The video has since been removed from the website. Response was rapid. The hashtag, hashtag report Sam Pepper, started on Twitter with many arguing that the video made light of sexual assault. Rather than being a bit of fun, feminist YouTuber Lacey Green capitalized on the mood by writing an open letter to Pepper, co-signed by some of the biggest and most influential vloggers on the site. We are deeply disturbed by the trend and would like to ask you, from one creator to another, to please stop. She wrote, please stop violating women and making them uncomfortable on the streets for views. Yeah, we're not going to be talking about that. Not at all. We're not talking about Sam Pepper whatsoever. However, we are talking about something akin to it. Actually, it's rather strikingly similar to what Sam Pepper did. Now, this is probably a good place to clarify if you're unfamiliar with the hashtag everything is sexist series. This is a series where I find things on the internet that are overtly sexist towards men, yet for some reason are put on the back burner by certain activist groups and organizations that advocate for social justice amongst people who are obviously getting second string treatment. Usually they are articles or submissions of stories. Last time it was actually a comprehensive, in-depth look at the criminal justice and social aspects of male sexual assault and domestic violence in Western patriarchal countries. Um, now, these videos, they can either be things that you send me or things that I find myself, which, by the way, thank you, Quill, for getting today's material on my radar. Much obliged, you. So that brings me to exactly what we're talking about today, which is a video entitled Grab 100 Penis Challenge Gone Wild. Now, I'm going to say this outright. I don't know what your definition of gone wild entails, but I watched the whole video and that 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 is not the impression that I received. There was no going of any wild. Ever. At all. But yes, it's it's basically five minutes, give or take, of one girl going around doing a challenge or a social experiment, who the fuck knows. Really, just five minutes of her grabbing guys' crotches over their pants in public areas while they're doing something completely unrelated, unassuming, just catching them completely off guard. Now their reactions are ranged and there is no other context given really other than the grab and maybe one to two seconds before and after the initial grab. It's probably fake, honestly. I have no idea, such as the nature of prank channels. I find it rather odd that I haven't heard a single outraged person voice anything about this. Like, there was, there were no feminist articles that said just because it's a social experiment doesn't mean you're not an asshole. 
with regards to this. And there wasn't any eliminating hair salon banter starts in the hair salon or how not to objectify men, a handy guide. Granted, I will say this, the lack of outrage is likely because the whole thing is in Spanish, done by a channel run by people living in the Dominican Republic. But I've seen it, a million other people saw it, so where is the outrage? Honestly, it could even be a video trying to spread awareness of, you know, sexual assault against males. But the simple fact remains, even if it was to bring awareness and raise awareness to this, there wasn't any awareness at all, and I find that very disheartening. I cannot be the only one who would logically conclude we have to point out shit like this every at, at every corner. But where are the countless articles shaming this woman for objectifying men? Or molesting randos on the street, touching their genitals while they are unaware? Where are the initiatives and the YouTube videos, the outrage that you get when the exact same things happen to the opposite sex in a fake and social experiment setting. Where are the petitions? Where is the mass exodus of subscribers? That being said, gentlemen, how would you feel if a woman, a random stranger on the street, came up to you and grabbed you by the crotch just at random for no reason? As a survivor of childhood abuse, no one touches me unless I want them to. And especially there. So this actually happened to me quite a while back. I used to be a flight attendant back in the day. And I was doing a flight from Cape Town to Johannesburg, if I remember correctly. And this old lady got on board. And during the flight, she got very, very drunk. And I was walking down the aisle. And she sort of just grabbed me between the legs. And she pretended that it was an accident, even though everybody else could see it wasn't an accident. And everybody just laughed, and I was laughing with them out of embarrassment because, yeah, it's it was just an unpleasant experience. Bitch, get your hands off me! Number one, who said you were worthy of touching my dick? Number two, just because I went to the gym with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt on doesn't mean I was asking for it. And number three, stop objectifying me. Hashtag down with the matriarchy. Hashtag men rights are human rights. Hashtag I don't need a woman. Hashtag men are people too. In all seriousness though, really, ladies, don't do that. Please don't. Alrighty, so it's going to cause a couple different reactions. Number one, I just got assaulted, so in my head, I'm going to be freaking out about that a little bit. But it's also going to cause some confusion due to the fact that my body's basically going, hell yeah, while my head is going, hell no. I think I would react uh, with shock, but um, I wouldn't scream or anything like that because I don't think uh, that would help at all. Uh, I think I would just uh, try to uh, remove myself from uh, that situation and uh, get as far from that person as possible because uh, I don't think society or uh, people in general would uh, do anything uh, to prevent this person and I would have to do it myself some way. Generally, I have a few expectations when it comes to my interactions with people out in the public. Uh, for one thing, I don't expect to be touched, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's pretty much a given. So if someone, a female, were to inexplicably and uh, unexpectedly uh, <laughs> grab my crotch while out in public, I would not generally uh, react to that very positively. In fact, I would have much the same response if the person was male or female. I would reasonably have suspicions about their intentions or mental faculties at that point. And I would certainly be checking for the presence of my wallet or other personal belongings. And yes, I would be highly offended after such an interaction. Okay, so, a random woman comes out and she just grabs my penis. Now, as we all know, the man's sex organs are very sensitive, prone to injury and pain if handled improperly, particularly by a stranger who does not have permission to be handling said organs. Now, if she does this, I think, and I, I think this is fair, I think she's just given me permission to either A, punch her, or B, grab him by the pussy. I'd like to take this opportunity to actually thank them for their submissions. Without them, this video would have been... It wouldn't have made as much of an impact. Now, 
I can't speak for men. Hell, none of these gentlemen I've shown you can speak to what all men want or feel. Just like I can't speak to what all women want and feel. However, when it comes down to it, there is a clear double standard at play here, and it exists. You cannot refute that. So while the world may burn at the mere mention, the mere prospect, the mere just concept of grabbing a woman by her genitalia, grabbing by the pussy, it certainly won't bat an eye if a man has been sexually assaulted, and I find something extremely wrong with that. I, you know, I hadn't even heard about this until someone was like, hey, weeps, there's something that maybe you should look into. And so I looked into it. I'm not mad because this bitch is exemplifying a behavior that may or may not be questionable and or sexual assaults. Not necessarily, no, I'm not mad about that. No, what I'm mad about is that in an age of the hashtag me too, and everyone under the sun coming out with a sexual abuse allegation in Hollywood, no one gives a shit. Still, no one gives a shit when it happens to an entire other gender. To the point where we get shit like this on Twitter. Like, Yo, that's not cool. Shouldn't do that. Hashtag permaben faster than bearing. By the way, hashtag free bearing. You know, not to rip off items, but either it all matters or none of it fucking does. If not, then... Does that make us hypocrites? Are we not perpetuating the idea that it's completely fine when a woman sexually assaults, I don't, I don't know, say, say, let's say a child? I mean, just take a look at every single story about a female teacher getting off near scot-free with sleeping with her students. How about how, despite the fact that there is very limited data on female sex offenders, there is overwhelming data that states that there is a high rate of sexual abuse from 56%, 66%, and 80% by women in the backgrounds of rapists, sex offenders, and sexually aggressive men. Does that not tell you something? Because to me, it says that we're not gathering statistical data correctly, or we're neglecting an area. And that needs to be fixed. ASAP. What about that despite the fact that there's been this whole initiative to out people in Hollywood and other areas of, you know, professionality, I'm only seeing men on these lists of the accused. Not say Amy Schumer. Finally, the doors open. It's Matt, but not really. He's there, not really. His face is kind of distorted and his eyes seem like he can't focus on me. He's actually trying to see me from the side like a, like a shark. Hey, he yells too loud and gives me a hug too hard. He's fucking wasted. His alcohol swollen mouth. I felt like I was being tongued by someone who had just been given Novocaine. I felt faceless and nameless. I was just a warm body and I was freezing cold. His fingers poked inside me like they had lost their keys in there. And then came the sex, and I used the word very loosely. His penis was soft, it felt like one of those de-stressed things that slips from your hand. So he was pushing aggressively into my thigh. And during this failed penetration, I looked around the room to try and distract myself, or God willing, disassociate. He was drunk. It's your responsibility to say no, Amy. What the fuck? Isn't that sexual assault, Amy? Right? But no. When you go to look up shit like this, females who have sexually abused others, or female sex offenders, or female celebrities who have sexually assaulted others, you get jack diddly squat. Maybe some stories about some guys abusing women, and totally incomplete data. I know I'm not the only one who sees this as an issue. So why are we not talking about it? If you want to perpetuate the conversation, feel free to leave a comment in the description. Maybe share this video so that other people can see it and leave comments. So we can have that discussion, so we can talk about it. Because honestly, that's the most important thing here. If you like my videos, please click that like button, share, subscribe, maybe. If you know, you like my videos a lot, please consider visiting the Patreon, maybe the Teespring link, and get yourself one of these cuties. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go lay down. Peace.